Okay, let's get rolling on this stupid, stupid game. I already provided a link to the storyline in the last video, the description of the intro video, which for some reason, this game chooses to excise the storyline so it makes even less sense than the Genesis version does. What I'm doing here is stretching out my body by holding the Y button. The only things that stop you from stretching out are the boundaries of the screen and enemies. If enemies hit you while you're stretching, you will snap back to your normal size, which you can also do by just letting go of the Y button. And despite what you may have seen on the title screen, there is no gunplay in this game. Unfortunately, gunplay would have probably added some great value to it. But, James gets some pretty good air. You can uh, explore the uh, premises by uh, jumping around. You can, you can jump from ledge to ledge. He has pretty good air. He can jump about half the size of the screen in general. Not that uh, that'll do you any good exploring or getting you to any later levels or anything, because... Well, that's just not how they roll around here. You have to unlock levels sequentially in this game. So we're going to do just that. We're going to run around now and run back to the first level, which for some reason, for some reason in this first level, there's an exit pole right at the start. And now I usually watch one or two let's plays or talk throughs of a game before I do it myself. And for some reason, it's right back here at the back. Right back here with this uh, yellow star, which refills one spot of health. Everyone I've seen play this game, not that there have been many people playing this game, obviously, it's not exactly a hit, but almost everybody takes this exit pole and leaves this section immediately to go on to the second one. Well, you know what? We don't roll like that on the Round the Wheel channel. We explore, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Even though it may hurt our eyes to look at this terrible, haphazard, rainbow sports background, we're going to go and we're going to explore, and we're going to collect trinkets like percolators and, and miniature earths and hand mirrors, because that's really all you have to live for in this game. Other than saving the penguins and keeping them from being turned into bread, you can collect dumb little things like snowmen and, let's see, cakes with cherries on top and green apples. There's a disconnected faucet and a hammer. And really all these things do is get you points, and that's really all you have to live for in this game. I can occasionally point up things that that actually have some effect, like that poison right there, that jar of poison with the skull on it. It'll hurt you and take away energy, and it's pretty easy to lose energy in this game actually, because it's often hard to tell where you're going and what you're doing. And surfaces like this are very slippy slidey, that's another way to get hurt really easy as you're collecting fedoras and pitted peaches and lug nuts and other things that have no bearing on anything, good god, and that gift probably belonged to some other kid, but we're James Pond, and if that's what it takes to save Christmas, then damn it, we're gonna do it. This is a more powerful jump that I just did than your normal one. If you uh, hold down while you're jumping, he'll kind of retreat in his armor and do a thing like this. Gingerbread men almost always drop dentures for some reason but to make the barber poles light up at the end of the level you need to save all the penguins in a given level and when the pole is blinking you can touch it and you can move on from whatever acid nightmare you're in just to move on to another one there's actually a hidden one up up here yeah there we go i should probably let go of the ceiling though because there's not much else you can do up there really but yeah, this game is just kind of, it's got all the worst tendencies of Mario-based, Mario-inspired platforming. Just grabbing a telephone, and it's like, yeah, let's, let's, let's throw a bunch of, let's throw a bunch of King Keezy, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, electric acid Kool-Aid test it stuff in there, and they'll, they'll just swallow up, they'll just eat it. Yeah, I'll eat it, and maybe get a giant migraine from wondering why you decided to litter the background with a barbells yellow stars refill health i have well the bottom the bottom energy bar thing is kind of broken you can have as many as five hits it looks like i think that's five the chip stack kind of shifts off to the middle of the screen for no discernible reason i'm sure that's because okay okay I, i'm i'm not sure why that is but this place is just full of things that want to kill me it seems so let's go ahead and uh, jump on this platform that moves in a giant circle for no reason. Yeah, I may have to. I may have to only do one section at a time. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do one or two sections at a time, but 
I may have to keep it down to just one. Holy crap. It's a school bus that spits children. Good God, school bus. I was gonna say that's sadistic, but look at school buses. Whoa. Look at school buses crazy eyes. I don't think, I don't think he's been sane for quite some time. Although, to, to be fair to the bus, those kids wouldn't be flying everywhere if they had kept their seatbelts on. And let's hit a switch so that we can just collect a monitor with a test pattern on it for no discernible reason whatsoever. Alright, and there's also a penguin up top here, but there's no ceiling to grab onto, so how are we going to get that? We can't even jump that high. Well, fortunately, sometimes this game will give you wings. To fly with your wings, you tap the A button, and even just tapping the A button will send you like halfway up the screen, so it's very hard to be subtle with the wings. Fortunately, they usually give you nice big open spaces to play with them in. Is this section over yet? No, we get to stare at a horrible arrangement of tennis balls and smiling volleyballs that look vaguely like bears. Okay, we're going to pump our way up to here. And there's an exit pole just over here, below these boxing gloves. But we are going to jump on over the wall, because what do we like? We like exploring. Did I? Oh, hey. Some kind of items in there. Didn't know that. Oh, hey. Way to take the hit there. Okay, a couple of penguins, but I'm fairly certain there are more. There is an exit pole around here. Okay, I need to be very careful when you... Okay. This guy we need to save, because if we want a chance of going over this wall over here, we gotta save him and use his momentum to get up to here, because there's no ceiling we can hang on to, you see? There we go. Anything we can... Any secrets we can find in this particular wall? I don't... Probably not. Okay. And get used to that circus music. It's gonna be all over the place. Hello, airplane. I, apparently you can dismount the airplane. I thought I would be able to shoot bullets by pressing the Y button, but that gets you out of the plane. And you fly the plane the same way you would fly... You fly the plane the same way you would fly with wings, by tapping the A button, all of that. And then you come to land by pressing down. There's no rhythm to this. There's no rhythm to this game, do you hear me? No rhythm to this whatsoever. Now, I may have just happened upon a secret exit here. The game occasionally has these. Oh, yes, this is a bonus level. Because there are no enemies and we're collecting Christmas ornaments on top of putters. Ooh, man. This is rough. Some health, a one-up. Yeah, this is definitely the mark of a bonus area. Like I was saying, get used to that circus music because this game is pretty much packed with it. And we cleared out a section, so I guess we're going to do one more today, because that didn't take that long to get through a section. Where are we going to move on to from Crazy Sports World? Alright, James seems pretty happy to have cleared that, and I'm glad to be out of there too, but it's just going to be one graphical headache after another, because this game has no notion of taste when it comes to backgrounds. Oh god, the Grateful Dead have come back. And they are pissed. Oh, jeez. I think this is what Twinkies would look like if Twinkies went bad. They Wait, what's that food that grows fuzz all over it when it goes bad? I have no idea because I generally let food get fresh. And some platforms you can go through and some you just attach to. Like, it's hard to tell, but you can tell by shading. Anything that's like golden like a Twinkie like this... You can stand on and you can't go through or anything, but anything with this kind of purple, brown, blackish shading on it, you just go right through. So be on the lookout for platforms like that as you're making your way through here. I cannot believe I'm giving you platforming advice on a James Pond game, but I think there's one such section like this coming. Yeah, right here. Look for the distinctions in shading and you can kill yourself a train, get some health. We probably should have used him to get up there, actually. Okay. Eh. This is going to be a narrow fit. But you can actually stomp enemies like that, too, coming up with your bottom half while, you, uh, while you're hanging onto the ceiling. That's a good way to 
take out enemies is to stretch out, hang onto the ceiling before they can touch you, and then let go and bring your lower half up. It'll actually damage enemies when you do that. So let's see what we're missing by not being airborne here. See, look at the game slowing down. This is really sad. This game came out in 1993. It's probably the background putting all the strain on it. It's just... That is just so garish and disgusting. I mean, sure, those bears look happy and everything, but... I don't know. At what cost? I say to you, at what cost? Okay, let's make our way back around then. I don't know why I'm bothering to platform so well. What happens if I, uh, jump out to the right, huh? Nothing, really. Okay. Probably just hurt the poor fuzzy Twinkie ground and myself. Okay, let's see. Don't tell me I'm actually lost in here. Okay, good. Nice, uh, nice stretch there. Now let's see what's around. I don't know. Enemies drop teeth like that, and I don't know why. <laughs> Olympic jump. Maybe the, uh, maybe the blue ones give you health too. But I tend to have pretty much full health at all times because, uh, I'm awesome. Oh, hey. This is a dead end. So let's... Wow, those bears look a little too happy. Even by Grateful Bear Teddy Bear... St or Grateful Dead Teddy Bear standards, they've done too much acid. And when the Grateful Dead tells you you've done too much acid, it's time to put it down. Okay, I can hang on to the ones that hang down, but not... Can't stand on the ones that are sitting up. That's probably for platforming purposes, because this game is just sloppily laid out and all around terrible. Damn you, nostalgia! Why must you make terrible things somehow appealing to me? Okay, what's around here? A fried egg. Glad to know they're just leaving that sitting out. A red, brownish diamond. Okay. We'll just wait on him to come back. Pop! Ha! <laughs> Sucker. Hey, an exit pole. I don't think that's the only one around here, though. I think we should be a little more stalwart than that in our explorings okay let's come on out of here and I'm pretty sure there's one that will let us out of here yes how nice of them to put that there so I'm gonna go up and left and what it what is even around here okay I see I see I'm probably just making my way over to some useless trinket that has no bearing on anything a purple star and the world's smallest rainbow and pot of gold no leprechaun would ever bother defending that. And then, because this game is terrible about point pacing and putting putting rewards out proportionally, they have these bunches of grapes or possibly strawberries out here that are only worth 900 apiece. I actually had to travel farther for those than for the one up and the purple star. Or for the purple star and the whatever, the leprechaun thing. That's just another way of telling you how terrible this game is is because they cannot even pace their rewards properly as far as difficulty and stuff. I'm just gonna get out of here and go this way because I haven't seen anything indicating there's a secret exit in here. All right, more of this, more of this St. Stephen old glory crap. Jeez, I may have to stop soon. This is hurting my head and I may have just actually, speaking of hurt, hurt my chances. Oh, no, I haven't. There we go. Just barely made it up there, but that's enough for me. Aw, oh, and it just turned out to be something like this. Oh, well, whatever. Ah, yes. You can also look down by holding down and pressing Y. Y is apparently the most useful button in this whole game, because you can look down and see if you're about to make a blind jump into a spike pit. Not that the game, you know, tells you that this control is available to you, but... Let's also make sure there's, like, no kind of reward that I can... Oh, hey, snake. Didn't see you there. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. It looks like it's safe to go down here. Unless you're a ninny like me. No going through here. Man. This is a pretty, uh... This is a pretty flat, bland level, but... I feel myself making my way around to a 1-up. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe it's just... Okay, I don't like being this far to the left on the screen, because I feel like I feel like at any moment something will pop up from the left, like that snake. 
here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, now I'm back on track. There's actually a possibility of me getting somewhere around here now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually crawl along the ceiling here and see if there's any kind of opening, and that'll keep me away from the stupid card mosquito as well. I think, uh, hey, I think uh, Alice in Wonderland needs its extras back. Anyway, I'm getting up here. Oh yeah. And a treasure chest. I bet that's worth a lot of points, huh? 9,000. It was worth only 9,000. It wasn't worth over 9,000! Hmm? Almost hit that mosquito again. Two cherries. I have a feeling we're gonna have to collect some... Okay, that counted as a stomp. I'll take it. I have a feeling we're gonna have to collect some kind of wing-like conveyance. You know, actually, I may have... Was there a... Did I kill an enemy right here? I may have needed to kill an enemy in order to get the momentum necessary to go higher here. Uh-uh. Let's just, uh... Okay. Let's follow your trajectory. I'll play your game. Card mosquito. Dunk. There we go. Well, I, I missed a hat, unfortunately, but I feel like... I feel like there are better things in store for me here. Ah, a trampoline. You just keep holding the button, and you can get... If you just keep holding the trampoline button, you'll eventually jump higher and higher. There we go. There's the payoff I was waiting for. A pair of wings. That's going to prove particularly handy in getting a one-up. All kinds of neat... Wow. Wow, my perseverance actually paid off in this stupid game. Hey, hat. You knew I was coming back for you, right? Cherries, 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 cherries. Tacos, 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 tacos. Hey, there we go. There's the exit I'm looking for, but just real quick. I'm going to try to figure out how to get that one up that I saw earlier. Hey, a gold coin that's just kind of sitting out by itself in the middle of nowhere. Oh, cool. I get hurt if I drop in on that guy. Holy cow. Okay, that pit is actually hurting me. That's wonderful. Here we go. This is kind of what I was trying to find. Maybe at this point I should be more concerned about energy, which I just got because of the yellow stars. Thanks, yellow stars. All right, I'm not going to keep a map of this entire freaking level. Maybe I need to go down here. Maybe, maybe here. Oh, hey, there's a guy down here. That seems to be some kind of hint to something. But it's so hard to just get around people. Okay, good. I stomped him. That's great, but at what cost? The cost of my dignity, I'm sure. Hey, there we go. That's how I found that thing. And that's how James Pond saved Christmas. Holy crap. Yeah, it's not very good to do airborne exploring with the wings. Because generally all people want to do is just hit you. And they just want to run into you with, them, with their playing card wings and just do terrible things to you generally so let's float on to the what is i presume the secret exit up here which you can only get if you're smart enough to find the wings yay oh yes now we're in a happy bonus area can i uh will jumping from here prove fruitful at all no but this cannon this cannon is actually quite mean. It'll actually launch you upwards into spikes. Like if I hold the jump button, there's one of these cannons, or a few of them, I think, that will actually launch you upwards into spikes, which is horribly mean for a bonus area. I don't know why they would do that to you. I think it's this cannon right here that does that. Okay, yeah, it's this one right here, definitely, because... And then we, I, I think... Yep, yep. Oh, game, you're actually getting kind of predictable. Wow. Oh. I'll figure you out yet, James Pond, but I'm a little tired of playing you for today, but thankfully I think this section is about over. No! There's more of this stupid thing! Oh my lord. Well, you know what? I'm going to persevere. I'm going to keep playing, and I'm going to play my way through these bullet bills, even. Because that's how stalwart and awesome I am. Anything up here I need to know about? Yes, death. That's what I need to know about up here. A ring worth 10,000. That wasn't worth it to me. But then again, points aren't really worth it to anybody 
who's played a video game in the last 20 years. You gotta avoid these things, and being next to them won't necessarily keep them from firing off either, so you gotta be really careful about that. And here, here is where you can do a neat thing. You can stretch up and uh, get some t-shirts. You can even get a green treasure box here. Whoa, hello. And a Ninja Turtle shirt, if you saw that. Okay. Whoa, hey. Anything? Oh. An ice cream cone sitting up there. I guess that doubles as the freezer, since this game is creatively bereft of ideas that would look like an actual freezer. Anything I need to know about up here before I start climbing? I think I'm good. A bicycle wheel. Some wax lips. A small clock. I said clock! Let's see, how far does he go? Okay, well, he's not guarding anything particularly useful anyway, and it looks like, ha ha ha! I deserve some kind of secret thing here, or I just deserve to collect honey and cake, that's great too. What, what is, what is even the point of being in here? Really? You're gonna hide something as cleverly as that, and you're just gonna make it you're just gonna make it hide two little stupid trinkets? Well, at least these gold coins are worth a lot. More money than I've ever had in my life, anyway. Okay, section clear, thank God. So I think we're gonna try to plug through about two sections a day. Next up is a boss. The boss of the Grateful Dead teddy bear world. He's fairly easy, although I do have a tendency to suck at him because of this game's wonky hit detection. I could not be more glad to be done with this game for today. Next time we will go upstairs. Well, we went upstairs today, I guess. So there we go. The lock came off the question mark door. And anytime you see a question mark door, that means a boss. So we'll get started on the boss tomorrow.